Hello, everyone. Before the presentation begins, let me introduce myself first. My name is Guang Haoli, and I come from China. Today, my main topic is traditional and innovative marketing model of restaurant industry. I will show it according to the following structure. Introduction, literature review, data of research case, preliminary conclusions, and next steps. The first is introduction. In today's catering industry, the traditional marketing model can no longer meet the needs of business. This is because we are in the internet age, and great changes have taken place in consumers' personalized needs and consumer psychology compared with before. If restaurant companies do not adopt an innovative marketing model, they will not be able to survive in the era of rising costs as retaining house, raw materials, and labor. How to define traditional marketing model and innovative marketing model, and what are their main differences? What are the opportunities and challenges brought by the marketing model innovation of catering industry? What are the specific and flexible new marketing models in the catering industry? This topic will focus on those issues. First is the literature review. First, we should clarify the definition and the difference between traditional marketing model and innovative marketing model. The traditional marketing model of catering industry 4P includes name, product, price, place, and promotion. This model emphasizes using existing products to find consumers. The innovative marketing model refers to flexible marketing guide by today's market demands, such as brand marketing, overall marketing, characteristic marketing, and cultural marketing. Next, we need to understand the core factor in the innovative marketing model. Danny Minier believes that the user experience has a decisive impact. Therefore, in the process of development, catering enterprises need to strengthen the user's experience, improve product quality and service, and fully meet the needs of users. Hanasha and others selected catering enterprises to study the impact of quality and price on products. From the research result, we can see that there is a positive correlation between quality promotion and product sales. The above is the literature review of this study, followed by data, mainly research design and methodology. First of all, it should be clear that this paper takes a well-known hotpot enterprises in China as a case study. This enterprise is called Heidi Law. In China's catering industry, Heidi Law's daily turnover is high as seven times. The customer return rate is 50% and the customer satisfaction and evaluation are higher than those of competitors in the same industry. Moreover, the average employee turnover rate is 28.6%, while Heidi Law's data is less than 10%. The period from opening to return to capital and profit of each new store is only six months. Based on the analysis of different types of data, its industry position is in a leading position as a whole. Research data and data source are as follows. China high law marketing system and the total number of employees from 2015 to 2018. Performance report of Heidi Law in 2020, Heidi Law's network marketing innovation, Heidi Law case analysis of enterprises crisis events in 2020. Specifically, Heidi Law's innovative marketing model include develop mobile app information platform, Adopt multiple social media link age communication, innovative auto marketing model, realize the differentiation of network marketing. Next, I will explain the above four innovative marketing models one by one. 
The first model is the developed mobile app information platform to realize rapid and accurate marketing. As early as 2016, Lao's own app has been downloaded by 400 to 500 users, providing the customers with functional applications such as number arrangement, meal ordering, customer service, takeout, and games. In the new version of F5.3.1, Heidi Law AR camera application is added to provide customers with new functions, such as taking photos and recording short video. Customers can share mail photos and small videos with their friends. Not only that, users can also collect AR Heidi Law cards to participate in a large number of activities in the restaurant, which meets the needs of customers for entertainment and fun but also helps enterprise capture users' consumption psychology so as to realize precision marketing at the same time as a platform for enterprise information release, mobile app also take, undertakes important publicity and guidance functions. For example, the information of new products or Preferential activities newly launched by the enterprise can be quickly and accurately conveyed to the target customers at the first time on the app platform. Okay, next, with the risk of social media, multi-platform multi linkage communication is becoming more and more frequent. As present, Heidi Law has established its own official microblog. As uh, January 2019, the number of fans of its official macro blog account Heidi Law Hot Pot has reached 220,000, and the number of fans of Heidi Law Delivery has also reached more than 12,000. In addition, the official account of WeChat Public C Bottom Hot Pot has become a major area for corporate publicity. The Public account not only provides a full range of services such as queuing, ordering, takeout, and games, but also an important platform for enterprises to publish information and publicize, publicize brand value. O2O marketing model refers to the business model of online marketing and online purchase, driving offline operation and offline consumption. Auto push the message of offline stores to internet users by means of discount, providing information and service reservation, so as to convey them into their own offline customers, which is particularly suitable for the goods and service that must be consumed in the store. When it comes to the exploration of Heidi Law's Auto model, the first thing is its cooperation with group buying. Websites such as Public Commons, Meituan, or Baidu. Group buying often attracts customers to buy online because of e coupons or some small discount, so as to promote customers to shop for consumption. Realize the difference of network marketing and meet the increasingly personalized spiritual needs of the audience. In the era of traditional marketing, in order to solve customers' long-time waiting troubles, Heidi Law will provide customers with manicure, shoe shine, and other services before meals. At present, with the rapid development of the internet, the personalization service of Heidi Law is more permanent. As early as 2014, Heidi Law had the old world development model of the conference industry. In the whole auto industry, Heidi Law used micro blog, WeChat, and other communication means to get the catering consumer system. Consumers' personal information was collected by business. For example, what dishes customers ordered would be displayed on the pad. The menu screen the last time can be used as a reference for this time. Okay, now let's move on to the conclusion. There are obvious differences between traditional and innovation meeting model. 
The traditional marketing model has been difficult to promote the development of the catering industry. This is mainly due to the current situation of social development and the change of people's consumption demand. Innovative marketing model can better meet people's consumption habits and consumption psychology. A series of innovative marketing models realized by Heidi Law are effective and worthy of reference by other enterprises in the catering industry. Finally, the next steps I will do for this research, uh, consult more information and data and conduct further analysis combined with this series and cases, uh, more fully demonstrate an arguments of the paper, correct the improved errors or omissions in preliminary conclusions, apply the successful practice of Heidi Law to the catering industry and even other industries, and analyze the reference significance of these models to other enterprises. Okay, so above is all my presentation content. Thank you for your listening. Bye-bye.